Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, we're continuing on with the opponent AI and I do apologise for no lesson last week. Unfortunately, I lost my voice through illness so I couldn't record. But that said, we're back, let's continue on. And I'm not actually going to create the switch block in this lesson. And that will become apparent a couple more lessons down the line. But what we are going to do is get some more code in place. So, let's begin by creating this function. And I'll come here after the void update. We're going to say of type private void opponent idle and the applicable brackets we'll put in the debug log as we normally do and We'll come below, we'll create a type private void again. Opponent idle animation. Now these functions are just going to be the same as what we did for the player character. But obviously as the script goes on there will be more and more differences. And eventually the script will share hardly any similarities to the player. So, with that said, let's get the idle animation function in place first. So, underscore opponent anim dot, and we want crossfade. Sorry, just caught the wrong button there. Open and close brackets, close the line off inside the brackets. And we want underscore opponent idle anim dot name. Let's get that into the comments. Crossfade in idle animation. Now we can come to the opponent idle function. We'll call the idle animation function, open and close brackets, close that line off. Call opponent idle animation function. We'll come below, we'll say if open and close brackets inside those brackets, underscore, not underscore, sorry should be opponent is grounded we'll open and close brackets again into the comments if opponent is grounded and the next line return close that line off into the comments we'll say then do nothing and return and while the opponent should be grounded when we go into this function just to make sure it is perfectly grounded we're just going to say underscore opponent move direction is going to be equal to a nil vector three open and close brackets close that line off inside the brackets we're going to say zero comma opponent vertical speed comma zero We'll break that up for commenting. So the first line, 
component move direction equals next line the vertical speed on y axis only let's come below here underscore opponent move direction again it's going to be equal to opponent transform dot transform direction open and close brackets close that line off inside those brackets opponent move direction again we'll break this up for commenting so here and here into the comments not players sorry opponents move direction equals next line opponents transform to transform direction by move direction and I already went on over how this all works when we did the actual player script so I'm just going to skip over that for this video because I don't want to be pedantic and uh, make these videos boring to watch so let's just skip over when we can when I've already covered things crossfade sorry collision flags opponent equals underscore opponent anim dot crossfade open and close brackets close that line wait Oh, sorry, I'm forgetting what I'm doing here. So, underscore, it should be opponent controller. Dot move. Open and close brackets. Close that line off inside the brackets. And that's because I got talking about not skipping over things. And I just got my... So I just got things mixed up in my own brain then. <laughs> I was still thinking I uh, needed to get the animation in place. So yeah, it happens to the best of us with coding. Well, especially if we get distracted, which um, it can be trying to comment this while actually typing these out. Time dot delta time. And that's obviously because normally when I'm coding, I'm just by myself. So, <laughs> yeah, it's um, it can still feel um, a little bit weird, a little bit uh, difficult to uh, sometimes keep track in mind. So, let's get this into the comments. Collision flags equals... Opponent's controller and we'll come here and let's say opponent's controller by move direction. Right, so that's all that in place. Let's have a look at what else we can get in place in this lesson. I'll try and get some more things in place because of missing a lesson last week. So let's just copy that animation clip line twice. And let's change this to hit body anim. Hit head anim. And obviously if you've got... Um, more hit animations with your characters you can uh, obviously create more variables and i think by the end of this script you should feel confident enough to go ahead if you want to and actually add more hit animations it's 
are actually not very difficult at all. So, let's come down here. Let's just copy the opponent idol and him. We'll paste that in twice. And we'll need to create some functions. So let's come here. Opponent idle in the enum. Add a comma. Opponent hit body. And opponent hit head. So remember to add commas to these top two. No comma for the last one. Don't worry about that red error, it's just because we've duplicated this here. And we'll change this to hit body. Let's just copy and paste that into the debug log. Hit head. Let's just copy and paste that into the debug log as well. We need to change the actual animation we're calling. Hit body. Hit head. And we'll change the comment. And let's have a, in fact, let's just copy this. I'm just going to copy these top two lines, private void opponent idle and the debug log. We'll get those set up in this lesson, I think. So I'll just paste that in and add a close brackets and again, and we'll just change this to hit body. And we'll paste that in there. And here we'll change it to opponent hit head. And we'll paste that into the debug log as well. So let's have a look. Now that's correct, so let's have a look. Everything is nice and neat. Let's save that off. I think we're going to leave it here for now. As you can probably tell, my voice is getting a little bit tired now. I've not completely recovered from that uh, rather nasty throat infection. So I don't want to record when I start getting too croaky I did attempt that last week and it uh, didn't work out that great so we'll leave it here for this lesson so as always I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now